Hello. After seeing, um, I don't know how to pronounce her name, Sidalem, uh, her, um, her really cool fashion timeline, I decided to do one of my own because I also went through lots of phases. So, uh, yeah, enjoy. I have to do it this way because I, uh, actually don't know of a better way. Because I want to talk about the pictures as well as to show them. Well, obviously, when I was a baby, I had amazing style, as you can see. Um, I probably didn't pick that outfit up myself, but I think it's pretty hot, yeah. Then again, some outfits, not so cool. Yeah, I don't know why my mom dressed me like that. Must have been the 90s. Oh, wait, yeah, it was. Some more fashion mistakes. Yes, I was, uh slightly unattractive <laughs> back then. Uh, yeah, you know, those velvet things were also very in in the 90s, and of course an E necklace. Um, quite an Eminem fan. Uh, yeah, and the glasses, also. And then I remember this one was when I was going to my first real party, like a birthday party. And, um, yeah, these were my disco clothes, basically. And my disco hair, as well. Yeah, jeans was pretty in, as were these kind of shirts. It was the 90s. The shoes, also extremely cool. They had heels. That was amazing for me that I was allowed to wear them. Then, uh, the coolness continues. <laughs> this outfit, I thought, was, like, the coolest thing ever. Especially the hat and the pose. It's like, I don't care. I'm such a teenager. Yeah, even though that was... I was maybe 11 on that picture hard to believe, but, yeah, I was pretty, I don't know, yeah, there I was also 11, and then was the beginning of the rainbow phase, it's me shaving my brother's head, <laughs> beginning of the rainbow phase, you see the rainbow belt, unfortunately I don't, don't have any better pictures, but I had everything in rainbow, rainbow shirts, rainbow shoes, rainbow everything, and especially, like, sweatbands I always used to wear, I think you'll see, yeah, you kind of see it in this one, yep, that is adolescence at its absolute peak, Baggy trousers, <laughs> this shirt uh, that came in some kind of a girly magazine says love on the front. My hair was really long, I actually really missed that, I thought it was quite pretty. But yeah, I've got my little disc man. <laughs> but some rainbow stuff. Yeah, I thought I was really cool. Um, and then, oh my god, the punk face started! Hadn't really got my hand signs quite right yet, not, not really there yet, but I was really into the offspring. The rainbow phase was having its little afterglow, basically. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I really liked the offspring. That's what started it all. And so it continued. This was a strange phase where I used to gel my hair up like this. And people d used to call me the last unicorn. Also, I don't think you can see this, but I was wearing a fake nose piercing. That's right, a fake nose piercing, which consisted of a magnet inside your nose and a little piercing thing on the outside. I think is actually hilarious because I kept having to pick my nose to get the magnet out. <laughs> so yeah, this was more punk phase. Here, this one, you can see the hair a little bit better. Yeah, it's really silly, but um, I thought I was really, actually, really cool. Then, um, first, uh, yeah, this was kind of maybe a bad phase. I was 13 in all these pictures, but maybe 12, actually. Probably 12. Yeah, this was like my when English punk phase started. Dyed my hair blue, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, I started dressing like this. With um, these huge Doc Martens and safety pins everywhere and just generally a little bit crazy and people were very embarrassed. This picture was in London. It was I'd just turned 13 and we were in London and I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, you can see why everybody thought it was embarrassing. I thought it was, like, the biggest punk ever. As you can tell on this picture as well. I don't actually know at this point whether the, that lip piercing was real already or fake, because I used to wear a fake one before I actually got a real one. So, yeah. N note the crazy nail polish. Um, yeah, then I was in San Francisco with the family, also looking punk there. Those were my big boots. Still wear them sometimes. And then I dyed my hair red, or brown, as you can see. This is actually one of my favorite pictures of myself ever. I think it's quite cute. 
set up the thermals concert, and then it kind of, you know, it's like still a little bit punk. <laughs> you see, I have a beer in my hand. Yes, I was 13 at the point. I think that's also quite amusing. But, uh, yeah, God, my teeth were so much straighter back then. Anywho, safety pin through ear, as you can see, the works. And then it just completely went away. And that was kind of my, uh, country phase. I'm wearing cowboy boots right now, looking very wistful. And, uh, yeah, I was trying to look country. I don't know why. And then came the indie phase. This is the I don't care about anything and I wear polka dot leggings phase and I'm so cool and I'm just smoking here with my crazy mismatched outfit and it's like so baggy and I'm so indie. I'm so Pete Doherty. Yeah, like on this one. Oh yeah, I wear my sunglasses but I'm indoors and it's actually night time. So yeah, I was also getting quite chubby at this point. I'm putting on some serious weight then. This also slightly embarrassing picture. These waistcoats were incredibly in. Yeah, rock and roll don't don't hurt. <laughs> I just think my hair was cool. It was so long. That was my style. And then I cut my hair short and dyed it blonde because I broke up with my boyfriend and needed a change. Two very good friends of mine in this picture. This was actually at a festival. Um, also kind of indie style and uh, I don't know. This picture was in the newspaper, which I thought was pretty cool. This one here, you can see it in color, you can see it a little bit better. Then I was getting seriously chubby at this point. As you may be able to tell in this picture, okay, there's kind of a glare coming off this one, but once again, the waistcoat, the Pete Doherty hat, you know, it was indie time. It was, uh, I'm 16 in all of those. Yeah, and now the chubbiness, oh, this dress was the only thing I ever wore because I thought it made make me look uh, thinner. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, I always wore a silver shoe and a golden shoe, and I, like, painted them myself as well, so I thought that was, like, really cool, and people would look at me and think I was a little bit strange. Then, eventually, when I stopped wearing that dress, I started wearing this, like, halter top, which I only wore because this boy...